Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we're looking at Alpha, a Stormguard hunter no longer bound by the rules of mortality. Unable to die, Alpha engages fearlessly, pushing her hardware well beyond its limits to take down her targets. Although fragile, she brings consistently high damage and maneuverability to her team. While her infinite reboot perk is available, Alpha cannot die. When she takes lethal damage, she instead gains a reserve of health and attempts to reboot. If her reserve is not destroyed within several seconds, she returns back to life. The cooldown for infinite reboot is displayed in place of energy. Anytime this bar is full, Alpha's reboot is available. During the reboot process, this bar slides to zero, indicating how much time remains before she returns to life. Alpha's Prime Directive allows her to scan for enemies along a path. Upon connecting with any target other than a minion, that target is slowed and Alpha instantly dashes behind them, dealing damage to them and all surrounding enemies. I recommend learning this ability at level 2, then upgrading it first and taking its overdrive. With Core Charge, Alpha can spend her own health to instantly land a basic attack on her target, while fracturing the ground for additional crystal damage. Additionally, each activation grants a stack of Core Overload. Core Overload increases the damage dealt by this ability and causes all of her basic attacks to heal her for a small amount. Core Overload stacks continually drain a small amount of Alpha's health. However, if Alpha lands her Prime Directive, it will remove the health drain while keeping the positive effects. Prime Directive's damage is increased based on how many stacks are removed. I recommend learning this ability at level 1, upgrading it second, then taking it as a second overdrive. When Alpha activates her ultimate, Termination Protocol, she immediately enters a self-destruct sequence and gains a strong barrier. After several seconds or once the barrier is breached, Alpha explodes and deals heavy crystal damage to nearby enemies. Although Termination Protocol will always deal lethal damage to herself, it can only be activated while her infinite reboot perk is available. Upgrading the ultimate reduces the cooldown of her perk, allowing her to revive more frequently. I recommend learning this ultimate once it's available, then holding off on upgrades until both overdrives are learned. However, if you're able to reliably land the ultimate on your opponents, consider prioritizing upgrades earlier. The enemy Celeste has been bullying the lane hard since the match began, punishing Alpha anytime she moved in to attack minions. To make things more precarious, Alpha has been forced to use her core charge to finish off minions, keeping her at low health. At a glance, Celeste appears to be in complete control. But this was Alpha's strategy. The moment she learns her ultimate, she drops out of vision and positions to engage. Celeste is nearly out of energy, and although she has enough health to survive an engagement with Alpha, her overconfident positioning makes for an easy initiation. Alpha activates her ultimate a split second before Celeste lands her heliogenesis. Although Termination Protocol is guaranteed to kill her, timing its activation masterfully can allow her to buy more combat time before an otherwise guaranteed death. With an incoming turret shot, Alpha is forced into an early detonation, and Celeste will be able to walk away from the explosion that occurs a moment later. It's worth noting that Termination Protocol gives a fairly substantial burst of movement speed upon activation, and instead of attacking, Alpha could have moved significantly ahead of Celeste's path to guarantee she was hit. Celeste and the turret make short work of Alpha, taking her down before she can finish rebooting. When playing Alpha, it's important to be careful about rebooting not just at the right time, but in the right place. On the other hand, being reckless has its perks. Because Celeste was out of energy and ignored the minions attacking her, Alpha winds up living and Celeste winds up dying. Later in the match, Alpha is minding her own business in the lane as the enemy team moves in to flank her. Once Celeste is near, Arden and Vox engage hard inside the gauntlet. With Alpha's turret nearby and her teammates approaching, she rotates directly into and around the enemy team before activating Prime Directive. Because Celeste must retreat from Catherine and Kestrel, aiming along this path almost guarantees she'll connect her scan. Celeste is hit hard as an arrow from Kestrel and the burst from Prime Directive connect simultaneously. Because Alpha came into this fight with full core overload stacks, Prime Directive is discharging them for maximum burst. Celeste and Alpha go down, with Arden and Vox quickly turning to attack Alpha during her reboot. Though Alpha made the mistake of failing to activate her ultimate, Arden will pay for trying to capitalize, as Catherine and Kestrel both unload on him to finish him off. Alpha finishes her reboot safely, taking advantage of the shifting nature of battle. She immediately resumes the hunt, chasing down Vox in order to finish off the family. 
Thanks for watching the Alpha Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store or Google Play and join us in the Halcyon Fold.